All right, we'll, we'll start off with Jen Hale, followed by Todd Graffney. So starting with that second quarter, what would you have liked to have seen differently defensively <laughs> out of this team? Uh, you know, maybe to guard somebody. Uh, I would say it starts with running back defensively. Our transition defense in the second quarter was uh, was horrendous. Um, very slow getting back, didn't get matched up. Uh, I, I just thought they really outworked us. And then we got broken down off the dribble, which created open uh, open threes. Yeah, we, we, there really wasn't anything uh, that – there wasn't anything, Jen, that we did well defensively there. I, I thought they, uh, in that second quarter, played a lot harder than we did, fought a lot harder than we did at both ends of the floor. I mean, you know, they were just the, the tougher, more competitive team tonight. I, I think anybody um, in our locker room um, who's being honest uh, would admit that. And, uh, and that's, that's disappointing, obviously. Zion was a bright spot in that third quarter, really provided a spark on both sides of the ball. Did you say something to him specifically, or did he take that on himself and just find his rhythm in that corner? I mean, Zion's just a really good player, you know, and he's hard to guard, and, you know, he went on the attack. I mean, he didn't really do anything that we we don't see almost every night. So, uh, you know, um, I, I don't really think there was anything different there. He's just He's just very good. Coach, can you put your finger on why the team has these issues in certain quarters? Again, last night it was the third, tonight it was the second. There seems to be one every game where, just as you mentioned, you don't, you're not getting the stops. Yeah, look, we, we just – we've uh, we've been on a pretty uh, – we've been on a pretty steady defensive decline, um, you know, since the sixth or seventh game of the, uh, of the season. And um, – it's it's frustrating to me because, you know, it's a big part of my job is to, uh, or at least the way I looked at this job coming in, a big part of my job was, um, you know, to try to uh, get us to improve at the defensive end of the floor. And I thought we came out of camp guarding at a pretty high level, especially for early in the season. And the level that we're guarding at now is um, – it's not acceptable, and, and as a coach, I mean, you know, I look at that and, and, and take a lot of responsibility for that, so it drives me crazy. Um, you know, now our players have to take a lot of responsibility for that, too. Um, we just need a much different – And I, it, look, and I've said this to you guys, I don't know, 10 straight games, 11 straight games. We need a whole different defensive disposition and mindset. I mean, we just do um, – you know, to keep the ball in front of us, to fight, to make shots more difficult. Um, we just need to be a lot different than we are. Yeah, you had a 22-point deficit. You did get it down to nine in the third quarter, so you made a run, and then the flagrant foul call on Jackson Hayes. Did you get any explanation? Because that was a five-point trip, and that really kind of swung the momentum back the other way. Yeah, they just said, you know, I mean, he slides under in dangerous play. I mean, that's a, you know... That's a you know the way the NBA calls it now. So um, my guess is that um, the way that the league wants it called, it was probably the uh, it was probably the right call, and it was tough. But when you put yourself in uh, in big holes, then one thing like that ends up making a big difference. And after that, you know we just really didn't. Uh, weren't able to make any run after that. Our guys came out of the locker room third quarter as a positive, I thought, and, uh, and fought um, and got it back into a manageable number. So I thought that was good. Um, but obviously we just don't sustain good defensive play, especially, but good play for longer periods of time. I mean, you know, between the second half last night, the first half tonight, we gave up 156 points. I mean, like, look, you're going to have to make 21 threes to have a chance on those nights and that's where we're leaving ourselves right now is our game is totally dependent on our ability to shoot the ball like uh, that's going to be hard to win um, on any kind of consistent basis if you can't win with your defense if you can't win by taking care of the ball and by rebounding the ball if you you know to me defend rebound take care of the ball and 90 percent of the time you'll at least have a chance 
you know, coming down at the end. And uh, we're, we're not defending and we're sporadically taking care of the ball. Well, it's going to be hard to get any kind of consistency. It just is. Hey, Stan, is there any sense of the severity of uh, Steven's issue with his calf? Uh, no, I mean, he, had, he just has calf tightness. Um, so I, I don't think it's severe, but it'll be day to day. I mean, it was bothering him. So, you know, he didn't go back in the game. Um, you know, we'll just have to see uh, after a uh, back to back tomorrow will be an off day from practice and he'll come in and get treatment and the whole thing. And then we'll uh, when we come in on uh, Monday morning, we'll see how he is. Hey, Stan Scott Kushner with Miller.com. Uh, just two quick questions, personnel rotation wise. Uh, JJ once again did not play. Uh, curious as to why that occurred. And then, is there any thought of getting Kyra Lewis bumped up in the rotation? So it seems like he's taking advantage of the minutes given to him when the rest of your guards have been a little up and down. Two good questions, Scott. On uh, on JJ. Um, you know, we just our guards had played so well last night. We decided to go with. Um, with that same rotation again. And um, and then obviously as we got later in the game, I wasn't gonna throw him in there at that point. Um, with Kyra, absolutely, um, I think it's sort of uh, on the top of everyone's mind on our, uh, on our staff and people watching. You know, it, it is difficult because, you know, Lonzo's a point guard, Bled's a point guard playing the two Kyra's a point guard and Nikhil's a combo guard. So we've got a lot of guys at the same spots. But um, everything, every time Kyra's gotten any kind of opportunity, he's looked good doing it. Um, you know, he's pretty much a pure point guard. He has a nice pace to his game. As I've said, the only, the only things uh, right now uh, that Kyra needs to do is get from like 160 pounds to maybe 175 and uh and get from 19 years old to 20 or 21 you know i mean we're just he's just so young um but i he does so many good things um and yes trying to figure out how how we throw him into that rotation is something that uh we're definitely thinking about Is that as well from the athletic? Uh, like you mentioned, you talked a whole bunch after these games about defensive, you know, disposition, about you know, just the, the way guys are carrying themselves out there on the court. Uh, what do you? It's kind of preventing that message from getting through to the guys up to this point. Well, I, I don't think it's a matter of message. I think everyone in the locker room could tell you what the message is. I, I don't. I don't think it's the message. I, I just. I think it's habits and disposition, and we need a greater focus on that really being important you know and um it's not there and, and it's up to me to find it whether it's finding other people or whatever it is we've got to find a defensive disposition and a uh, and a toughness that we currently don't have for long enough periods there are times where you see us defend pretty well but certainly not long enough. Um, Stan, I mean, the, the, the few minutes that we, we get to see Kyra out there on the floor, like, it just, um, I guess, like, the word that comes to mind is, is unfazed. I mean, is that, is that a fair thing to say, unfazed? And, like, you know, obviously we don't get to watch practice. Is that, is that do, we, do you see something similar in practice? I mean, yeah, and again, like, you know, we don't do a lot of live work in practice now, maybe 15, 20 minutes a day. I mean, you just don't get many opportunities. And we're going to get fewer going forward. You know, I mean, we're playing six games in nine days, and then we get two days off and play six games in nine days again. And then we end the first half playing six games in nine days. So we got six back-to-backs in five weeks. Not complaining. Everybody's going through the whole thing. What I'm saying is, in terms of practice time and what we see in practice, like, we don't see a lot, but yes, my, what we do see and my impression of him is exactly the same. I don't, I don't think he's phased by anything. Um, I think he's got great confidence. Um, I like everything I see in, in, in Kyra. There's, haven't seen anything I don't like. We're all set. Thanks, Coach. Okay.